It's in the dream that God will reveal himself to you. It's in the dream where God will accomplish in your mind all those things that he has desired for you. And, 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 so, and, and, and so you need to understand, when we dream a lot of stuff, that God has to be the source of the dream. If God is not the source of the dream, then the dream is known and void. You can, you can go places in the world without God. No, you can do that. But that's all you'll have. Is that a, re, a, a relationship in this world without God? It's like a dream. That, 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 that. And well, you know what? It's not a dream. It's a nightmare. And, and the nightmare is this. That without the dream that God plants in our hearts, without the dream that God uh, shows us to lead us in the direction that he would have us go, we will fail in our quest, in our goal to be great in God's eyes. And so, and so we want to enjoy great moments. If we're going to be great in God's eyes, we need to slow down, we need to swim down, we need to sit down and we need to look around. And, and, and when I say slow down, God tells us to be still and know that he's God. Uh, God tells us that we need to simplify our schedule so that we don't overextend ourselves. We need to examine what we do every day and ask ourselves, do we really need to be doing it? We need to realize that uh, our priority in life should be a relationship with Christ, not an agenda for him. And we need to remember Think about Martha uh, when Jesus was there and, 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 and she was busy doing all the things that she had to do. It wasn't Martha that Jesus acknowledged. It was Mary who found it a better thing to sit at his feet. And so, and so the relationship with Jesus Christ is the thing that we need to see. We need to develop better habits. We need to develop habits that will allow us to put God first. We need to take out the trash in our lives and be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We need to do our own business and take responsibility for our actions. We need to understand that God is in the center, that he's in the midst and he's watching everything that we do. And so when we watch ourselves and we watch our thoughts, our thoughts become our words. And, and, and we know that we need to watch our words because our words become our actions. And we need to watch our actions because our actions become habits. And then we need to watch our habits because our habits become our character. And then we need to watch our character because our character becomes our destiny. And if our destiny is not in the line with God, we'll find ourselves, even as the disciples, wondering who is the greatest in heaven. God bless you.